the most intriguing, the most detailed. Here comes the Newton's third law of motion. If a body A, what, 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 what was the uh, claim I set on Newton's third law? The claim was a single force does not exist. Nature, force exists in pairs. This is an unbelievably powerful statement. Unbelievably powerful statement. A single force does not exist. Interaction, the word interaction means interaction. Inter happens between two bodies. Okay, let me elaborate for you. If a body A exerts a force F on another body B, any body A exerts a force on another body B, then B exerts a force minus F on A and the two forces acting along the line joining the bodies. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's say A exerts a force on B. We'll call it FBA. Let me explain to you the subscript meaning. There are two letters in the subscript B and A. The first letter B describes on and the second letter is by. So what is this? This is force on B by A. F B A. Force on B. The first letter of the subscript is the recipient on. The second let letter of the subscript is the source who. Okay. So, FBA is force on B by A. Alright, erase it. So, A exerts a force on B. Check. B exerts a force on A. Check. What the third law is saying? The third law is saying that, first of all, these two forces are equal in magnitude. Okay. And second, they are acting along the same line but opposite direction. Wow. Okay. Sir, is this always true? Yes, sir, it's always true. But sir, weight. What about weight? Where is the react where is the, the other body of the weight? The other body of the weight is earth. Earth pulls you down with mg. Okay. So sir, we pull the earth back. Of course, yes. You pull the earth back with the same force mg. Alright. Sir, there are two blocks A and B. Yes, sir. There is a force by A on B and B on A. Yes. No force exists solo. Every force exists in pair. Let me elaborate this, this, this whole thing with the help of some examples. Okay? Watch. <clears throat> Tanker. Big tank. Big tank. Tons and tons of weight. Alright? Takes aim. Boom! Action. Reaction. Let me introduce you the more famous name of the Newton's third law. Action reaction law. Does it ring a bell? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, it does ring a bell. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But, sir, why didn't you tell so in the beginning? Why didn't you tell this definition to us before? This is so nice. We know this. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. There is a reason why I did not give you this definition before. Because this definition is not wrong, but it is misleading. I'll tell you why it's misleading. Are you ready? Let's look at this beautiful tank again. One more time. Action reaction pair. The two forces in the Newton's third law are called the action reaction pair. The tank takes aim. Boom. The boom is action. The cannon going forward and the tank getting jittery or a, uh, what do you say, recoil of the tank is the reaction. Agree? All of you understood this. Alright. And my claim is that it is not completely correct. There is something missing. Do you want to know what's missing? Shall we understand more examples first and then see what is the missing part? Alright, let's go. How does a rocket get launched into space? The fuel inside the rocket is burnt and then thrown out at such a fast rate that the rocket itself gets pushed upwards. Really? That's how the plane flies. That's how the rocket gets launched. It's through the law of action-reaction. Again, 
I am using the word law of action reaction in place of Newton's third law of motion only because it resonates with you. I will dispel the myth around action reaction law that yes, it is not completely correct. Hold on. But let's first tabulate the examples of action reaction. First, I gave you the tank or the gun. When you shoot a gun, there is a recoil on the shoulder. Why? The gun exerts a force on the bullet. The bullet exerts a force back on the gun. Rocket. Rocket throws the fuel down. So rocket pushes the fuel down, burnt fuel down, fumes. And the fumes push the rocket up. Law of action reaction. Newton's third law of motion. Swimmer. I can cycle at one space, at one place, when inside the ocean or a pool. But if I want to swim ahead, what do I do? I actually cut the water with my hand and then push it backwards. So the water gets pushed backward and I get pushed forward. So the swimmer, swimmer exerts the force on the water backward. The water exerts the force on the swimmer forward. Action, reaction. Newton's third law of motion. Here are the properties. And let me explain the properties in the real time. Can you see this beer kept on the cube? Can you see the normal reaction? Up till now it was ground for you. Deliberately it's block on block now. A sphere on block. Can you see N? The normal reaction exerted by body 1 on body 2. Can you see this N again on body 1 by body 2? So there is a N12, there is a N21 situation. Correct? It's simultaneous. Look again. Look again. The block, simultaneous. I can call it action reaction, but I will never do the mistake that they are one follows the other. No, sir, it does not. In fact, it occurs simultaneously. Watch. Guys, pay attention on what's appearing on the text and pay attention to the changes it making the diagram. I'll repeat. Pay attention on what the property is appearing and keep a look out. Keep a look out on the diagram. First, simultaneous. Watch. Both the arrows came simultaneous. Opposite direction. So the first property is occur simultaneously. So reaction is not the response to action, it's action 1, action 2 at the same time. Second property, opposite direction, one more time. Can you see the arrows pointing in opposite directions? Good. Third, act along the same line. Can you see the support? The support of the two vectors is same. Can you see the dotted line? That's the support. In this case, one is upwards, one is downwards along the same line. Different objects. Different objects. This guy, upward force is acting on the sphere. Downward force is acting on the block. Different objects. Because there are two bodies involved. Equal magnitude and equal nature and same nature. What does it mean? It's the same kind of force. The upper N is also normal reaction. The lower N is also normal reaction. And equal magnitude, let's use a ruler. Can you see a ruler? If this ruler measures the length between the two red lines of the upper vector, the same ruler will say that the blue line is also between the two reds. Property number one, occurs simultaneously. Property number two, opposite direction. Property number three, act along the same line. Property number four, different objects. Property number five, equal magnitude, same nature. For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.